Hey family, welcome back to the channel. On this video, we're gonna be doing a beginner friendly roast beef. I know it's been a while guys, but as usual, you can watch what I do, watch the ingredients. And of course, all of this will be down in the description box below. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to the next of it so that you're notified each and every time I upload a video. As always with my cooking um, videos, I'm not gonna do too much talking. I just want you guys to really watch um, what I'm doing. Um, and I'll hop in every now and again to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing, just so you know, you learn how to do it. Again, this is a beginner friendly video. There's not many seasonings, not many steps, and it's really, really simple. And I'm using a crock pot, which takes the simplicity to a whole nother level. So without further ado, guys, keep on watching. So if you've watched any of my other videos where I'm cooking, you'll notice that I always pack my seasonings into my meat. This just helps them get into there in my opinion, and it just tastes better. So what we're gonna do now that we got it seasoned is take it to the stove. You can use your skillet or whatever you have. Um, you wanna get some oil in there so that we can brown the roast beef on both sides. So we're not cooking it, all we're doing is browning it on both sides. So keep watching guys. So it's cooking, my heat is on high heat. Um, and I didn't want to speed this up too much for my beginners because I really want you guys to see what's happening so you'll know um, when you decide to do a roast beef, how it's supposed to look, what's gonna happen when you do this and what's gonna happen when you do that. So I didn't wanna speed it up too much. I really want you guys to watch the process. Again, this is beginner friendly. Of course, there's more that you can do, more spices that you can use, more techniques um, and other things that you can add, but I wanted this to be, be a beginner friendly um, video. So keep watching. So let me interrupt and tell you guys to make sure you visit my blog, katinaljenkins.com. 
there you will find encouragement i do blogs um that aim to encourage you to push you to where god wants you to be there's bible study tools on there and of course i had to put up you know a little christian apparel in there that um, i find also encouraging and it really screams i serve christ so make sure you guys visit and back into the video Alright, so I feel like it's brown enough on that side. So we're going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. We're also going to make sure that we brown the sides. Now that's a little more um, complicated than just sitting it on the stove in a pan, but it's easy. So keep on watching and you'll see just how I do that. Literally all I'm doing is taking my tongues and just holding it on the, holding the roast beef on the stove so that the sides can brown just like the rest of the um, meat. Now it is a little heavy, so you, you'll see me, you know, toss and turn, but we get it done. And that's the important thing. So keep watching guys. All right, so now that I got that brown on all sides, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my crock pot with a cup of water. Now you don't have to use water, but again, this is beginner friendly. So I'm gonna take my Lipton's onion packet and I'm gonna pour that right into um, the mix that I already have, which is of course, again, just water. So I'm gonna pour that um, right on the uh, roast beef and push that down in there. And then I'm going to jump into getting my celery and my carrots ready. Now other people use onions and um, red potatoes or whatever, but I um, happen to be allergic to those things, so I don't add them to my roast beef, but I do still do the celery and the carrots. And again, if you have not already hit that subscribe button and that like button, go ahead and do that for me right now. It really, really helps me out and it tells me that you guys like the content that I'm bringing and that is very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up guys and then I'm gonna rinse them off because we need clean vegetables in our roast beef. So keep on watching. So we're gonna go ahead and add those carrots and celeries, um, celery to our crock pot. And there's no rhyme or reason why I put in the carrots first. You can do it however you like. I just put them in. And then I'm gonna pour another packet of that onion, um, Lipton's onion seasoning over it. And then I'm just going to pop on a top and turn it on high and wait for a delicious, delicious meal 
to come forth. So keep watching, guys. So at this point, it's been in here for about two hours. So it's not quite ready. I'm gonna give it another few hours um, to, you know, get tender and for everything to kind of um, mesh together. Again, if you have not already, hit that like button and we're done. Look how good that looks. My husband was dipping in it. it like he literally almost ate half of the bowl before I even got it on video. So what I did was just pop it into some containers and that is all guys. Easy, simple, delicious. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.